Welcome everyone to another video. This is the last video you're going to see in this property, but it's been a good journey. If you haven't seen the last video of the finale of this whole property, going through it all and showing you everything from the kitchen, bathroom to the third bedroom created, then go check that one out first. But in today's video, we have the figures of how much this all cost me. Not everything, so I know how nosy some of you can be, but more or less the figures of how much the refurb cost in general. So you guys get a good insight of how much certain things can cost and what sort of builder to get. So let's go find a spot. In fact, let's go to the conservatory, have a sit down, and I'll talk all figures. The conservatory itself, luckily, that was already done and not much was needed. Let's start straight off with the electrics. Of course, we had the new fuse box, we had more sockets. To be exact, I want to say there were an extra, because of course, extra sockets means extra costs. So in each room, an extra one or two sockets were made. So in total, around seven to eight sockets. Of course, we had the new fuse box that was around 900 pounds. And of course, including the rewire and the extra sockets, in total, it cost me around 1,300 pounds. And before you go into the comments and whether you say it's too much, oh, how did you get that deal? Every builder has a different price. And of course, every area, has a different cost on how much things will be worth. So that's it for the electrics. Let's go straight to the boiler. I'm really starting off expensive here, aren't I? I'm choosing the most expensive things, but the boiler. Of course, we had a whole new heating system. As you know, we had a tank at first with electric heaters put around. So of course, in each room, we had two in the living and dining. We had one in the bathroom, one in the bedroom, and of course the other bedrooms, one in each. So in total, of course, that brings us to six heaters. And of course, we had to get a new boiler as well. And that costs around the £9,000 mark. The flooring. In each room, of course, we added extra flooring, except the flooring here, which we kept. We had the wood flooring in the living and dining, of course, and the entrance. Of course, the kitchen, we had a new tile on the floor which was of course another addition and bathroom again tile again and then the carpet through the staircase all the way up to each bedroom the total of that was around the four thousand pound mark of course it's not exact four thousand pounds i'd rather say roughly so you get a good idea of roughly how much flooring costs and of course when i do bring this video out maybe costs have gone up or maybe gone down so let's not get too ahead of ourselves with costs but that's the flooring costs. Kitchen itself, I got an absolute bargain. As you know, it's quite a large unit. It's for sort of an L-shaped kitchen. We've of course got the two cupboards above on either side. You'll see it of course in front of me now. The hob, we'll add that in there. We had the stove and the oven of course, and the extractor fan. So all in all, we first of all bought that from Howden's. And second of all, that costs around £2,700. Very good deal. My builder did get that for me and I do know sometimes they can get a good deal on things like that. And there we have it for the kitchen. For the WC downstairs, that was one different cost. And that cost was around £1,000. I know that's quite expensive and something that was somewhat unnecessary for some, as they would say. But in general, it was a great addition. And as we had the viewers around, they were saying the WC is a great addition, including an ensuite. So if you had the opportunity to create an ensuite, do it. Because an ensuite is, adds so much value to a property. Try and look into that as well. But we thought the WC itself would be perfect. So of course that includes a toilet, the sink, and of course the flooring, and the plumbing. Let's not forget the plumbing is included. And of course, painting the walls white. In terms of the bathroom itself, we would talk the toilet, the sink and the bath, of course we added the tiles separately. So that was including the toilet, the sink and the bath, I would say that was around the 500 to 600 pound mark. So now we're adding up, everything is slowly adding up and that's what it is when it comes to property investing. You want to be careful 
because things can add up quickly and that's not what you really want. If it's a necessity, then go for it. The dump that was occurred was actually before I purchased it and the previous owner thankfully paid for it for me and got it done, which meant we had a warranty, we had the damp proof done and it just made life a lot easier. And I know exactly how much that cost, that was around £4,000. And to be honest with you, if I bought it and that wasn't done, I don't think I would have bought this property because £4,000 would have eaten into my profits. And of course the garden itself, because I had done it myself, we didn't need to of course go and get that done. So all in all, everything added up to around 30 to 35,000 pound mark. Of course the reason why I'm saying in the range is because costs can change. And you have to remember there is VAT included in that and that's what the builder would charge and it's around 20%. So it does add on quickly. So let's not forget that's 20% of the total, which let's say was around £25,000, you've got to add 20% on top of that. So that's an extra figure you've got to counter as well. Of course, got the labour costs. So the figures I gave you was roughly the figures for how much the certain things cost. And to add on the labour costs, you have to factor in an extra maybe a grand, two, maybe even three. So in all in all, it was around £30,000 to £35,000. And of course I would not have bought this if I didn't think the figures made sense. So of course you have to really do your research into everything. Of course the heating system is a large cost, the electrics is a large cost and of course as you know by 2025 if you are going to have a rental property it will need to be a rating of a C plus or plus should I say. Some things you'll have to pay slightly bit more to reach it up to that C if you are looking to rent out the property. But for me, this achieved a D, one point off a C. I would have probably put in a word to say one point, we could have bumped that up, but of course, it's, that's just how it is. So I didn't need to worry about that too much because I'm just selling the property. So of course, besides that, you do have to factor in costs such as council tax. I know no one's living here, but believe it or not, you still have to pay council tax. <laughs> Deluded, but it just has to be done. And of course, electric bills and of course, heating bills they're not they're not large costs so we don't need to worry about them too much you would want to add them on at the end besides that that is everything that's the cost this is a refurb i hope you enjoyed please let me know in the comments below if you would change anything if you would add anything and for me to add one more thing before i leave you i did use one builder to do everything and that's why you're probably wondering as well maybe it costs slightly more but one, my one builder done this project in three months. In three months. Let me just rub that in a bit because that is crazy. I gave him the keys. I trust him so much now. He's done the last property as well for me. He's done it in record timing. I don't pay him any more just to get the project done quicker. We've just created a great connection. I can leave the keys with him because I live somewhat far away. We can always FaceTime and of course I can trust him. He knows what I like. He knows the style I like. So even if I don't say a word, he will do it to perfection. That's everything from me and this property. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, let me know in the comments below if you have any ideas about builders, any jobs I've done. And of course, go to the last video, have a watch of that. I hope you've all enjoyed that one as well. And I guess on to the next project. So I've been Haggot, AKA Hags. Don't forget the name. I'll catch you the next one.